hello guys so for the first time in about seven years i was without electricity for more than 15 hours in ghana yes so considering someone who works remotely all right who basically work online all right without electricity and i mean we've been so much used to electricity that we don't even have a backup plan all right you can imagine what was going through my head and how difficult it's been for me all right in the past few days all right and even today the lights went off for an hour it came back it went again uh, for about two, two minutes and came back so the question i want to ask is ghana now facing electricity crisis are we okay sorry they have been seeing on sorry they have been seen on tiktok and on youtube <laughs> our brothers already started bashing us oh you say we do not have electricity all right so you don't so do not have electricity it's like we are all finally drunk huh <laughs> sounds interesting and and to add to the pain and disgrace all right a whole all african games whole like all african games so in a stadium the lights went off can you imagine so you know <laughs> yeah but the, the, the question is are we now in energy crisis okay so according to ecg that's the electricity company of ghana and um how do you call it the energy ministry they are saying we are not an energy crisis because our problem is not distribution problem is generation because our problem is not generation problem is distribution problem so let me show you the difference all right so currently ghana still produces much more electricity than it needs all right we supply to burkina faso togo and ivory coast okay and we have about 85 percent electricity covered all right um so yeah we are we are we are okay when it comes to energy uh generation and supply okay and we have a pretty much a good mix uh hydro gas and also solar energy mix all right so our mix is pretty much something impressive okay so what is what is happening now according to the ministry and according to electricity company of ghana the reason why we are facing this doom or energy crisis i will continue to say energy crisis is because of distribution problem okay they are saying most of our transformers are old so they cannot handle some of the loads that are coming so and you know the population of ghana is increasing um the economy is also probably growing more business activities taking place so yeah and more energy is needed and um the transformers cannot handle the, the the demand that is coming from both companies or corporates and also the mass domestic uh markets all right so i i think it's true because even in my area last three days about four light four houses all right had lights the rest didn't have lights and we all live close all right and even sometimes to we'll have uh, no lights and about three houses will have lights just around us i mean just one minute walk from a neighbor's house they will have light but we wouldn't okay so you see the problem so i do agree that maybe it's not a generation problem as they say it's, it's basically a distribution issue and the transformers can't handle the load aside that they are also saying most of the cables that uh we are using they are old all right most of the cables are old and it needs to be changed so they are doing routine maintenance basically and they're also working on the transformers upgrading transformers and that, 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 that so many stories all right but my question is why then would they have to wait till we experience power crisis before they take a step so are they not proactive surprisingly they go to engineering schools in america and uk and germany but they can't they don't learn forecast they don't anticipate they are not even a step ahead to know that we'll face as the economy grows and as uh, the population also keep going up it's likely we encounter these forms of issues so let's try to be a step all right ahead of the game all right but they just wait for the light to go off and they come and tell us that it's a distribution problem okay so if you are in ghana we are now facing doom so we don't have light we don't have light <laughs> so our brothers now don't let any ghanian tell you that do you have lights because we also do not have lights okay maybe our problem is not as big but still we don't have lights so don't let any ghanian tell you hey do you have lights all right it's, it's interesting i mean all jokes aside it's something that we have to think about because if you live in a country where um already our economy is suffocating we have so many problems uh, our economy is pretty much struggling all right even with the imf loan we are still i mean close to a dead end 
And we are also coming to have this electricity or energy crisis on top. Even Muhammad's time, I mean, 2015, 2016, where we didn't have uh, such economic problems. All, the, all the, the only major problem we, we had at that time was energy crisis. Even look at what happened. And now that our economy basically is, our economy basically is in kind of a... Sh- and now that our economy is basically in shatters, all right, we are coming to top it up with energy crisis. Then what will come of us? We all have to run back to Nigeria. We all have to run. We all would have to start running to Nigeria, all right? So, guys, yes, that is it. That's my opinion. That's my thoughts, all right? What's happening is 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 interesting. It's disgusting. It's annoying. It's crazy. It's unfortunate, and it's so sad that a country like Ghana, all right, where our name is all over the world, all right, a country that is highly revered in 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 the world and in Africa, all right. In 21st century 2024, we are still having energy crisis to the extent that an all Afghan games like Olympic, all right, our stadium lights went off, parliamentary lights goes off, <laughs> and all that. Okay, for the parliament, they said ECG said they owe some bills, so they needed to pay, and 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 and, and, and as they refused to pay, they went to cut their light. Good job, all right. But uh, this is what's happening, all right. So. Let me know what you think as a Ghanaian and let me also know what you think um, as wherever you come from. <laughs> and finally, we don't have lights. <laughs> All right, see you in the next video. Bye.